Two teams who'd managed to put 90 points on the board last weekend took over half an hour to break the stalemate at the stoop. Having seen Nick Easter had a try disallowed previously, Danny Kerr showed how it should be done a marker for a fine game from the Yorkshireman against his England rival Ben Youngs. Evans' boot made it a 10-0 half-time lead for the home side, but the visitors exploded from the blocks after the break, Alessandro Tuolangi completing his seventh try in the Aviva Premiership this season. The Tigers' forwards took the signal to ratchet up the pressure on their opposite numbers to such an extent that Quinns lost two men to the sin bin in two minutes, and in the absence of Skinner and Lambert, there was a certain inevitability to the penalty try that followed. There was always a rumbling of discontent throughout the match, particularly amongst the packs, brief flare-ups becoming an increasingly common occurrence until the volcano erupted in the final quarter. Marler and Ajertz are going to work on each other, forcing Wayne Barnes to show red to each side. Both sides sorted themselves out, reorganised the troops for the last quarter. Evans kicked his side within a point, but Flood's third successful kick forced Quinns to need a try, and so a frantic finale followed. Urged on by the sellout crowd, the home side threw themselves at the Leicester line, but the Tigers' defence held firm, once again showing why they're the champions and why they are in pole position to take the title again. For Harlequins, it was a case of so near and yet so far.